What's up everybody? I was able to get my hands on the Black Series Luke Skywalker Battle Simulation Helmet and I was so happy about this and I'm really excited to add this to my collection. So here's the front of the box. You just get a side profile of the helmet. There's the side of the box. It just has some information on the helmet. I'll read that in a second. There's the back, so you get a front view. There's the side and there's the top. There's the bottom. So you have some red and green LED lights that will, I guess, flash inside the visor. You also have three speakers here, so it says surround sound, so I guess that's where it's gonna simulate the sound effects. And then on the bottom you have an X-Wing and it says Battle of Yavin, and then next to it you have a so snow speeder and it says Battle of Hoth. So I guess those are the two modes you can switch it into. So you open the top, you see the, the head of the helmet. This just folds open. bag on the inside of the helmet. I guess that's your instruction stuff. So there it is. It's the full helmet and all its glory. Um, now it's obviously incomplete, so the bag will have some key items that you're gonna need. Get your chin strap. And you got some cushions or padding that you can put on the inside of the helmet. Uh, let me just look over the instructions real quick. So this takes three AAA batteries. So the battery compartment is right at the back of the helmet. Under this, it looks like. Yeah, so this plastic piece comes off and then you are gonna need a screwdriver to get that compartment open. So I'm just gonna put the batteries in and then I'll save you the grief of seeing that. All right, so once you put the batteries in, just simply put the plastic piece back on the bottom to hide the compartment. There you go, that's it. So now I'm just gonna put some of the padding in. now. It does show that there's some Velcro that's involved here. So if you look on the inside, you can't really see it from this angle, but there's a bunch of random dots in there. And, oh, you might be able to see if I get the reflection right there. That dot right there. So that's actually the Velcro. So you'll see there's uh, two different sides. This is obviously the back side, and that's the side that's gonna be rubbing against your head. So you're simply gonna place it against the Velcro, and it sticks on just like that. You're going to take the padding, and same idea, one side that sticks to the Velcro, one side that's uh, probably going to feel better on your head. Attach one, then attach, I'm not doing this, attach the second. So it should look something like that by the time you have everything attached on the inside. And then the last piece is the chin strap, and there's a little buckle on it, and that buckle actually connects to the one that's inside of the helmet. So you just click that on. Same idea on the other side, just click it on. And that's it. And then you just have the mic here, and it's just for display pretty much, but that's it. That's the whole helmet. There is a switch on the inside, and basically it has a snow speeder or an X-Wing. Depending on what you switch it to, I guess that's the battle mode that you're gonna be entering. But before I show you that, I'm just gonna show you the helmet. There's the front, side, back, other side, and then here's just a look at the entire thing. Very good quality, I'm happy with that. I also like the design on it. I mean, it, it looks really battle-worn, and the paint design, I like it. It's got kind of like a, it's got an interesting texture to it. It literally feels the way it would as if you just left a battle or something like that. I like how the paint is chipped away here on the logo. I even like how it has some so, some sort of like blaster fire or damage from uh, sparks. I don't have any complaints about this design, the paint job, overall just the feel of the entire helmet. The visor doesn't move, so there's no point in even trying. And this is the only thing on it that really moves besides the chin strap. And it's only for display apparently, that's what the instructions say. And this is a button right here. And if you click that button, it begins the simulation mode. So let's see if this even fits my head. Ugh. Okay, so it does. And it's actually really comfortable. And I, trust me, I have a very big keg. Blech, keg. I don't have a keg. But I do have an enormous head. Fits pretty comfortably on me. And you can also adjust this. I haven't adjusted it just yet, but you can, you can adjust the chin strap to kind of help with holding this in place. And it's really comfortable on the inside. So I'm gonna start the simulation now. I'm pretty sure I put it on the Battle of Yavin. Okay, so right now I'm hearing R2. That's all I'm really hearing. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, the lights are on. Now they're on. Okay, so I'm hearing the sound effects of an X-Wing. Red 3 standing by, Red 6 standing by, Red 2 standing by. So this is, I guess, as you're approaching the Death Star in A New Hope. Okay. So I'm in the simulation now. Okay, so pretty much what I'm getting from this is it's playing out the Battle of Yavin. You got some blaster fire from the X-Wings versus the blaster fire from the TIE Fighters. You hear the sound of the actual X-Wing. You just hear some of the communication between Red Squadron and the Rebels back on Yavin. This might be pretty cool if you're driving at night. You get the feel that the, the lines on the roads are kind of like the trench run on the Death Star. I don't think anyone actually thinks that while they're driving. So uh, if you just want to bypass what I just said, go right ahead. But I would not suggest driving with this thing on. It is really comfortable. It's not shaking or anything. Like it's not, it's not doing this when I move my head, which is good. It's really secure on there. I'm gonna switch to the Battle of Hawk now. So that's cool. Simulates the whole battle from Yavin. And uh, well, here we go. I'm gonna do Hawk. Okay, so now it's the sound effects as if you're inside the snow speeder. Really cool. Um, I'm not sure, I guess it's supposed to put you in the, the mindset of, okay, this is what they were hearing and experiencing during the battle. If only there was something actually happening around me, like if there was actually some 4D element to this around me, then it'd be a little more realistic. But overall, I like it. Uh, the sound quality is really good on the inside. The quality of the helmet is really good too. And it just, in my opinion, it looks really cool. I'm really impressed with this. One thing I can say about the Stormtrooper helmet and the Vader helmet as well is they, they've they all been very comfortable on my head. All right guys, so I'm gonna end this one here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I do have some more Star Wars content coming very soon. And some of that content includes Black Series, Force Effects lightsaber unboxing videos and reviews. And there's some of the cooler ones that I've added to my collection, which I'm really excited to show you. Uh, if you can stumble upon this in a store and see it on the shelf, I do suggest you pick it up because one thing that I can confidently say is the Black Series has never disappointed and I was very happy when I got the Stormtrooper helmet and the Darth Vader helmet and I'm really excited to put this in my display case too. The quality is really good, the design is really cool, the sound effects are great and it fits really comfortably on my head. So that's the end of this one. I hope you stay tuned for what I have coming next. Take care.